Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out my collection of the rarest Jurassic Park and Jurassic World figures. First, I just bought some Jurassic Park sets off of eBay. The first one is the Alan Grant with double-barreled Bola launcher from the Jurassic Park new series two. Let's check this out. So there's Dr. Alan Grant. We've got a variety of tools here as well as a little dinosaur. And way up at the top here, you can see that it's some type of claw contraption or something used for trapping dinosaurs, it looks like. Now, I'm not gonna open this up because this is a collectible and I wanna keep it in this condition since it's unopened right now. But I still have another figure from eBay that I just bought that we're gonna check out as well. This is the Compstagnanthus, or at least I think that's how you pronounce it, codenamed Lasher from Jurassic Park Chaos Effect series. And this dinosaur is super colorful. It's got some light blue green over its body with the black. It's got some yellow, it's got some orange. It's got blue right on its nose. So this will be super cool to add to my collection too. And as you can see, it is a combination dinosaur of a Compsognathus, a Stegosaurus, and an African tree frog. That is pretty wild. As you'll notice with basically all of these figures, these figures are discontinued, so you won't be able to find them new anywhere. You might be able to find them on eBay or something like that. But this first one is a Jurassic Park Allosaurus. And this figure actually has multiple pieces of battle damage that you can completely take off. And this front battle damage actually has multiple layers. You can take off the ribs to see the stomach underneath, and then you can just cover it back up with the skin, just like that. You can also remove the thigh on this dinosaur, see the flesh underneath, as well as on the tail. You can rip off a piece of the tail and see the bone and flesh underneath too. Back here, we've got one of the original Tyrannosaurus Rexes from Jurassic Park. This figure has some pretty unique coloring over its body. It's got the clay red with the black spots and stripes. It's got the lighter underbelly. It originally had sound effects, and its whole body is a soft rubber, which is a common theme with the older figures. Right here, we've got a T-Rex from Jurassic Park The Lost World. This is the Thrasher Tyrannosaurus Rex, and it also has a soft rubber body aside from the arms and the legs. And with this T-Rex, you can actually wiggle the tail to control the face and the neck, move it back and forth. All right, I know you've been keeping your eye on these huge T-Rexes on the side. This super colossal T-Rex is one of a kind, and that is because it is actually custom colored. It's got a light tan body all around. It's got some interesting shadowing and detail all over. It's also got some super dark red eyes and some interestingly colored teeth too. So those are darker teeth than what's normal. So while you may be able to get a super colossal T-Rex, you will not be able to buy one that is this color. Next up for the one of a kind super colossal dinosaurs is this T-Rex. And this has some of the craziest custom coloring out of any figures that I've seen. It looks like a fire T-Rex. Got the bright red over its belly and sides. It's got the glowing orange right next to the black and then the black top. This is a super cool one of a kind T-Rex. And for our final one of a kind custom colored super colossal dinosaurs is this Velociraptor. This, I think, has some of the best custom coloring out of any figure that I have. It is so detailed and so well done. It's got the black body with these brown stripes, and there's even these little gold specks along its brown stripes as well. My favorite part, though, are the eyes. These are incredibly detailed. It's like a gold eye, but then it's got red towards the center, and then the black pupil. You will not be able to find another super colossal Velociraptor with this coloring anywhere. Here we've got a Jurassic Park Stegosaurus with battle damage right on the shoulder. Mm. This figure has a somewhat soft rubber body. The tail is especially rubbery, so you can swing that back and forth with those spikes at the end. And it has a very natural green and brown and light tan coloring all over its body. So it really blends into the jungle. This giant T-Rex, I believe, is the Jurassic Park Lost World Bull Tyrannosaurus Rex. This T-Rex has some pretty unique coloring with this green-blue color on the sides. It's got some light brown on its legs as well as along the top of its body. It's got some marble eyes that are green 
and I don't have the piece anymore, unfortunately, but originally it was able to swallow, I think, a cage that had a man inside. So this thing could actually swallow humans or dinosaurs or whatever you want, and you can release it from the stomach right in there. Next up of my rarest figures is this Jurassic Park Lost World Pteranodon that was nicknamed the Steel Beak. This figure's pretty old and fragile now, but it's one of the few figures that has a fabric wing on it, as well as spring-loaded joints for the wings, so it can swing forward and it swings back just like that. Next up is the Jurassic Park Lost World Parasaurolophus. This figure's in pretty good condition for how old it is. It's got the light tan body with the darker brown stripes along the top, and this figure actually has an action button on its back used for running. Here we've got the original Jurassic Park Triceratops, and this figure has some huge battle damage on its side. You can see some flesh and some bone in it as well. This figure also has the soft rubbery body like many of the super old figures, and it has an action that when you squeeze its stomach, it swings its head upward. Here is a dinosaur figure that, although it's more recent, it's still pretty hard to find and pretty rare. This is an extreme chomping Spinosaurus from Jurassic World. This figure has the dark ground body with the light underbelly and the red spine and face. And of course, it comes with the button at the top of its head for the chomping. Right here is another one of the original Jurassic Park Tyrannosaurus Rexes. This is a smaller figure. It probably only stands about nine or 10 inches tall. It's got some battle damage on the side and it has the soft rubbery body all throughout aside from its arms and its legs. This super bright dinosaur, I believe, is from Jurassic Park The Lost World and is actually a Chaos Effect Anki Loranodon. This figure has some super bright colors, bright green and the bright purple, plus it's got a super bright orange eye as well. And there's actually a hidden action button on its back used to move its tail. Over here is another more recent figure from Jurassic World, but is still pretty rare and pretty hard to find. This is the hybrid Indominus Rex. It's got the bright red over its body, it's got some gold, and the classic gray color for the Indominus Rex. Plus it has a few action buttons, the first that you press down to stick out its spines, and the second to pull down the arm, and it roars. Check this one out. Here is another discontinued Jurassic World figure. This figure is fairly rare and is actually a hybrid Tyrannosaurus Rex. Check out these spines that pop out on the top of its head and on its back. Plus, another unique feature about this Tyrannosaurus Rex is this unique coloring right along the side of its body. And the action button that springs out the spines also activates the jaw. This is another Chaos Effect dinosaur from Jurassic Park. This is the Velociraptorix, and this dinosaur has some really unique features. What stands out the most to me are these wings right on the Velociraptor's arms. That's super interesting. And it's got these spikes right along the top of its back and its head as well. And this Velociraptorix has an action that when you pull the leg, it swings its arms up and down and its head moves as well. Next up, we've got another figure from Jurassic World. This is a hybrid special edition Ankylosaurus. And the most special part about this figure is that it actually has part of its shell that you can take off to reveal the normal shell underneath. This removable shell is super bright and reflective. It's got some bright green and purple in the spikes as well. And you can just plop it right back on. Next up in my rare figures, we've got the Jurassic Park Amargo Spinus. I think this figure looks somewhat similar to the unopened figure that we saw at the very beginning of this video. It's got the long neck, it's got the spines all over, and it's got a few action buttons actually that when you move the leg, it actually sticks up its spines on its back, on its neck, and it opens its jaws too. Next up is the Jurassic Park Lost World Chasmosaurus. This figure looks similar to a Triceratops. It's got many of the same features. It's got the horns in the front. And this figure also has an action that when you pull its leg, it moves its head up and down. 
This is another Jurassic World hybrid figure. This, I believe, is a hybrid between a Stegosaurus and a Triceratops. But it's also got some super bright and unique coloring with the bright blue on its side, the dark blue on its legs, and the gold right along the top and its horns, too. Here is another Jurassic World hybrid figure. This is a hybrid between a Tyrannosaurus Rex and a Dilophosaurus. And once again, it's also got some super bright coloring with a bright orange on its sides. It's got some gold along the top too. This is a Jurassic Park Spinosaurus. And let me tell you, I think it looks a lot different than the Spinosauruses that Jurassic World is releasing now. But it's still got the huge spine along its back, of course, and it has some pretty bright coloring. It's got the bright green along its body with the gray as well. Next up is a fairly large figure from Jurassic Park. This is a Utah Raptor. It's got the orange body with the black detailing along the top and the lighter underbelly. And a nice detail on this figure is that you can actually move the claw up and down on its feet. Over here, we've got a few Jurassic Park Baryonyx figures. These are quite a bit different than the new Jurassic World Baryonyxes that are being released now. Their bodies are a lot more thin. They've got shorter legs, and it looks like they've got longer necks too. Next up, we've got two Velociraptors from Jurassic Park with different features. This first one is a lot smaller, and you can move the arms and the legs, but there's no action button. But on this second Velociraptor figure, there's an action button that when you move the leg, you can hear a sound effect. It's really quiet, so you probably can't hear it on the camera. But its head also used to move up and down as well. Here are some other interesting dinosaurs from Jurassic World. This is a Dilophosaurus with battle damage on the side, and it is super brightly colored. We've also got a smaller Spinosaurus with battle damage on the side that you can control by moving the tail around too. And for the last two dinosaurs of my rare collection, first we've got a Jurassic Park baby T-Rex with a broken leg feature. And we've also got this, I think it might be a Baryonyx, it might be an Allosaurus, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's from Jurassic World, and it's got the battle damage on the side, and the tail controls the head too. start with some of these biggest dinosaurs here I believe is a custom colored T-Rex. This is the bull T-Rex which can actually swallow smaller dinosaurs all the way to its stomach compartment right down there. And let's compare that with the original painting of the bull T-Rex here. This is JP28. It's got the yellow and green coloring with the black stripes on top. And of course this one can eat smaller dinosaurs too. Up next is another T-Rex figure. This one is JP29. This figure also has the real feel skin over most of its body. The only hard plastic parts are its arms and its legs. Next up is another giant T-Rex figure. This is the red version, and this looks to be actually the old version of this new one that we'll check out right after this. It's got the real feel skin all over its body. It has some pretty cool coloring with the dark red and the black stripes and spots. And when you you squeeze on its stomach, it can open and close its mouth, or at least it used to be able to. So now let's compare that with the new Jurassic Park electronic real field Tyrannosaurus Rex. And here it is, the new version of the Jurassic Park T-Rex. Let's go ahead and take out this tag to hear the sound effects. Now this figure also has the real feel skin, although it is a little bit less rubbery than the old vintage version but you can see that it still is pretty flexible. And of course its tail is also the real feel texture too. That's pretty cool. Those are some epic roaring sound effects. Let's dive back into the bin now. I've got some of the classic eggs that have the baby dinosaurs in it. So let's see what's in this one. All right, this one is JP58, which I think is maybe a Velociraptor baby or a T-Rex. I actually can't tell. Next up, I've got the Stegosaurus figure in the back here with the huge battle damage on its side. This is JP24 and also has some real feel skin too. And also an interesting feature with this figure is that you can move this spine to wiggle its tail. 
Here is the Utah Raptor. This Raptor is quite a lot larger than many of my other Velociraptor figures. It is JP22, and it features a chomping movement when you press down on its tail. Next here is a winged dinosaur. This one is pretty old and worn. I believe it is a pteranodon. It has a spring-loaded mouth and its wings are actually a soft fabric instead of a rubber or anything like that. And there's a button on its back so that you can flap its wings. Here's a decent sized dinosaur. This is the Pachycephalosaurus figure. This figure is wearing this backpack type thing. It's probably held some gadgets or something like that. You can see that there's a little bit of skin that you can open up right here. That's actually battle damage. And this figure's head is actually spring loaded. So it'll launch its head forwards. But unfortunately it's broken. So it doesn't work the right way anymore. Aww. Why don't we go ahead and grab another one of the new collector's items. This is the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary nano scene. Let's go ahead and open it up. And here we go. This is a cool little miniature scene. You can see that there's two of the Jurassic Park cars here. Got the Jeep and then the classic car. And you can have them drive up to the Jurassic Park gates where the gates can open up. And on the other side are some Velociraptors waiting. And you can even see some T-Rex footprints too. This is pretty cool. I'm actually going to go ahead and put this up on my display shelf. All right, back to the bin. I've got a giant Triceratops figure. This one has the real feel skin as well. You can see the giant battle damage right on its shoulder right there. And just like with the T-Rex that we saw earlier, you can press its stomach to move its head. Back here, I think this is another Velociraptor figure. This is from Jurassic Park 3. And this figure has the dark brown skin with a light underbelly and some interesting red coloring along the top. Here is another real feel dinosaur. This one is a juvenile T-Rex. It is JP06. It also has the massive battle damage on its side. And this specific figure I feel like is a lot more squishy than even some of the other ones. Up next is a Triceratops figure. This is JP44. It has the camo green coloring with the green blue coloring along the top and a roaring action when you move its leg. This next dinosaur looks pretty similar, but I think it's actually called a Chasmoceratops. This is JP21, and I think it might even have a larger frill compared to the Triceratops. And it's even got sound effects too. Up next is an old Spinosaurus figure. This one is pretty bright. It is JP39 and is pretty small compared to a lot of the newer Spinosaurus figures. And check that out, when you move its arm, you can also open and close its mouth too. This next one I think is another Velociraptor figure. This one has striping all over its body. It is JP18. And I don't think it works too well anymore sadly, but you can move the leg and it would move its neck up and down when it used to work. This Jurassic Park figure is the Allosaurus figure. And this one has some body parts that you can take off to reveal the battle damage underneath. You can also remove part of its chest and even the rib cage underneath and also a part of its tail. That's pretty cool. I don't think many of the new Jurassic World figures have this much battle damage that you can reveal. Here is the Parasaurolophus figure. This is JP19 and it has a single button on its back for the running action. I've got another Jurassic Park egg here, so let's see what dinosaur is inside. All right, it is the baby Triceratops figure, and it is JP57. Look at those green marbled eyes. Why don't we go ahead and check out this other new collector's item too. This is the Hammond Collection, Dr. Alan Grant and the Velociraptor pack. Let's go ahead and take this off, and there they are. Here is Dr. Alan Grant. He's got the plaid shirt, and you can see that there is a camera pack in there, as well as a green backpack. So he can wear the green backpack and inside the camera case are the two hidden Velociraptor eggs. If you remember that from Jurassic Park 3. And let's check out the Velociraptor figure from the pack. Like all the Hammond Collection figures, it is super adjustable so you can bend all of its limbs and it has some pretty cool coloring with the white 
and the brown striping all over its body. Here is the Velociraptorix figure. This is JP53. This dinosaur is a pretty exotic looking one. It's got these spikes all over its head and on its back, as well as these wing-like things on its arms. This is a hybrid dinosaur, so it's a Velociraptor mixed with something else that I actually don't know. Here is the Compstagnathus dinosaur. This is a super bright and wildly colored dinosaur. It's got these spines running along its back, kind of like a stegosaurus, but it stands on two legs, and it's got this crazy thing that it shoots out of its mouth. I don't know if that's its tongue or what that is. And another crazy colored dinosaur from Jurassic Park is the Amargo Spinus. It's got the bright red all over its body. This is JP58. And when you move its leg, you can actually activate its spines on its back, on its neck, and you can open its mouth too. Over here, I've got two twin Baryonyx figures. They've got slightly different coloring, but they are identical in size and shape. This first one has the yellow coloring with the dark brown spots. And this second one is dark brown all over and has some bright orange stripes on its back. Here I've got another hybrid crazy looking dinosaur. This is JP48 and I actually can't remember what the specific species of this figure is, but boy is it bright and crazy looking. Here is a Dilophosaurus figure without the frills. This is JP02, so this one is a really early figure. And it's quite small, but it still has the real feel skin and some pretty interesting color. And up next are a few classic Velociraptor figures. This first one is the older figure. It is JP06, and it has the dark red-orange coloring and a jaw-chomping action. And this second figure is JP10, it does not have the jaw chomping action and it has some totally different coloring. And here I've got a juvenile T-Rex figure from Jurassic Park. This is JP42 and this baby T-Rex actually features a broken leg. So you can see right there that it is actually a bendable limb. So this originally came with a bandage or something like that that you put over the leg. And as an extra bonus, I've got some really old Jurassic World figures. These are some of the first figures that came out for the new Jurassic World series. This first one is a brown velociraptor with the gray striping on top. Here's a light tan velociraptor. This one actually has a battle damage button on its side. I guess it doesn't work anymore, sadly. And on this figure, you can use the tail to move the arms back and forth as if it's running. There's also this super old Ceratosaurus figure. It also has the battle damage button on its side. Plus, of course, when you move the tail, you can chomp its jaw. I've got two more super brightly colored dinosaurs. This first one is an Allosaurus figure with the bright yellow and bright red. It's got a little bit of battle damage on its side and you can use the tail to move the head around and open and close its mouth. And finally is a Triceratops Stegosaurus hybrid. You can see those golden spines running along its back from the Stegosaurus. And of course, you've got these Triceratops horns in the front plus a whole lot more on this figure. The first and biggest of this collection is this Jurassic Park T-Rex. I believe this is a bull T-Rex, as it was called. It is the JP28. It has very unique coloring. I don't have another T-Rex that has this type of coloring on it. It's really cool. Next up from Jurassic Park, we've got the really bright and colorful Compstagnathus. This is a super crazy looking dinosaur. Plus, it's got a unique feature that when you press on this orange thing, it sticks this, I think it's its tongue, out of its mouth. That is super crazy looking. And then you can retract it just like that. Next, also from Jurassic Park, is another giant T-Rex figure with the rubber body and the plastic legs and arms. This figure is getting really old, so you can see the paint starting to wear off. Plus, it's made of rubber, so it just doesn't hold up the time as well. But it still looks really cool. And you can use the tail to control the head. Here's another big dinosaur, but this one is a vintage Jurassic World figure. 
So it's a bit different. It's got a mostly plastic body, but it has a rubber neck and head, and you can use the arm to open and close the jaw. Really cool sound effects. The next vintage figure is this giant Utah Raptor figure from Jurassic Park. Definitely a lot bigger than a lot of my other Raptor figures, and it has some special features too. When you press down underneath its tail, it dips its head down in a chomping action. This figure is a vintage Jurassic World figure, and it's actually a pretty special one because it is a hybrid dinosaur. It looks like a T-Rex, but then you can press this button on its back to open up the spines and reveal them. That's really cool. Right over here is a vintage Jurassic Park Allosaurus figure. This figure is actually a bit smaller than a lot of my other Jurassic World Allosaurus figures, but the cool part about this figure is it has battle damage that you can take off completely. And you can even do it on its leg and its tail too. This is quite a bit different from the new Allosauruses that Jurassic World is releasing now. Right down here, we've got a huge Triceratops figure. This is from Jurassic Park. It's got the battle damage on the side. I think there used to be a piece that fit in there, but I don't have it anymore, sadly. But it's got the camouflage green coloring all over its body, and you can squeeze the stomach to lift up the head. Here is a vintage Jurassic World Ankylosaurus figure. I believe the figure actually has an additional shell. Here we go. You can put it right on top of the dinosaur for additional armor. This is a special edition Ankylosaurus figure. It's really cool. <laughs> Up next is another old Jurassic Park figure. I believe this one is a adolescent T-Rex. It looks quite a bit younger than a lot of the other big T-Rexes I have, so I think it's a younger version of a T-Rex. But its body's all rubber aside from its legs and its arms, and it does not have any special features, sadly. <laughs> Here's another really unique looking dinosaur from Jurassic Park. This is the Velociraptorix. It's got a body similar to a Velociraptor, but it's got these feathered wing-like things on its arms as well as on its back. And check out that super long snout with all those teeth. And you can actually move its arms and its head by moving its leg back and forth. Right over here is a smaller figure. This is a Jurassic World Pachycephalosaurus figure. It's got the black striping on the top and the yellow body and a little bit of body damage on the side. But for how old this figure is, it still has a pretty cool function where you can wiggle its head, you can move its head up and down in that headbutting action too. Here's another T-Rex figure from Jurassic World. This one is custom colored though. It's got the red and the black coloring with the green underbelly. This figure is actually identical to the hybrid T-Rex with the spikes coming out of its back that we saw earlier. Here's another old Jurassic World figure. This is another Ankylosaurus, but this is the normal version. So we saw that super bright blue and green Ankylosaurus. This is the normal version, which is brown and does not have the additional shell covering on top. All right, I've also got a few vintage human figures in here too from Jurassic Park. I believe that this is the parachute edition of Dr. Ian Malcolm. <laughs> Looks like he's got the full harnessing system on for jumping out of a plane in a parachute. Next up, we got another old Indominus Rex figure. This is a little tiny one. I believe this one was a Bite and Thrashers, or it's called something like that. But you can use its tail to move its head around and open and close its jaw. Over here is another old Jurassic World figure. This is a Ceratosaurus figure. And while the coloring is the same as many of the new ones that Mattel is releasing, the design of the whole body, and especially its face, is very different compared to what's coming out nowadays. Plus, this figure has a button on its side that'll activate sound effects and light up as well. But since it's so old, it no longer works anymore, sadly. From Jurassic Park, we've got a saber-toothed looking kind of creature. I don't remember the name of this figure though. But check out those teeth on the very front of its mouth. That's pretty scary. It looks a lot like a saber tooth. Here's another human character from Jurassic Park. I actually don't remember the name of this character, but comment down below if you recognize who it is. Way down here, we've got a baby Triceratops figure from Jurassic Park. 
This figure actually came in a shell that you opened up to reveal this dinosaur. And the coolest part is that this figure has marble eyes. You don't see that in a lot of new figures nowadays. Speaking of Triceratops, I've got a wild looking one from Jurassic World. This is a hybrid Triceratops, I believe, with a Stegosaurus. It's got gold and some bright blue all over its body, and you can use the tail to move the head around too. Check out all those horns along its head too. That is amazing and a way lot more than normal Triceratops figures. Next up, we've got another raptor figure, but this one is a Velociraptor from Jurassic World. With this figure, you can move its arms and its legs up and down, but you can't open and close its mouth or move its tail. So Jurassic World figures have really come a long way since they first started releasing these. This is a pretty basic figure. Here's another figure that looks nothing like the new figures that they're releasing for this species. This is a Spinosaurus figure. It's got the green and gray and looks absolutely different from the new Spinosauruses that Mattel is releasing nowadays. This bright figure from Jurassic World, I believe is an Allosaurus figure and it's pretty basic, but like that smaller Indominus Rex figure that we saw earlier, you can use its tail to open and close its mouth and even have it look around too. From Jurassic Park, here is another Triceratops figure, but this one is a lot smaller and might be a baby Triceratops. Plus, when you wiggle the leg on this figure, you can move its head up and down too. And unlike many of the other Jurassic Park figures, this figure is all hard plastic. Next, from Jurassic World is another old Indominus Rex figure, but this figure has the coolest battle damage feature of them all. You can actually open and close the door to reveal the battle damage inside. And that's not all. This figure can open and close its mouth using the tail as well. Up next from Jurassic Park is a vintage T-Rex figure. I believe a baby T-Rex with a broken leg feature. This is another crazy looking dinosaur from Jurassic Park. This is an Amargo Spinus. You don't see that many dinosaur figures with this type of coloring nowadays. And it's got some pretty cool features. You can pull the leg and all the spines on its back and its neck and even its mouth opens up too. Next up is a giant Jurassic World Dilophosaurus figure. This one even has the battle damage on the side that you can press for sound effects, but it doesn't work anymore, sadly. And it has these giant frills in the front too, which is pretty neat. Next, we've got another Jurassic Park human figure. And I can't remember the name of this figure either, so let me know in the comments if you recognize who this is. Bingo! And here we've got a tiny little Jurassic World T-Rex figure with the green coloring and the tail that controls the neck and the head. up, we've got this huge Indominus Rex hybrid figure. While most Indominus Rex figures are painted just gray, this one has some crazy red, some gold on the underbelly and arms and legs, and it has a few unique action buttons too. The first is a chomping action. And second is a button that reveals even more spikes on its back. Next up, we've got another Indominus Rex figure. This one is normal colored, but it's pretty old. It's got a rubberized head and neck, and the rest of its body is a hard plastic. And when you pull down on the arms, it opens and closes its mouth. This next rare figure is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. It also has some rubberized parts of its body as well, like the tail and the neck. This figure also has some stomp sound effects. And of course, it's got a roar sound effect and a chomp action. In the back here, we've got another T-Rex figure. This one looks quite a bit different. It's got some green and some very unique and kind of strange looking details on its body. It's a bit smaller than the T-Rex that we just saw, but it has one real cool special effect. Press the button here and it springs up some spikes on its back and on the top of its head too. This next T-Rex right here is actually identical to the other one, except that it does not have the spikes coming out of its back. And I believe this one was actually custom colored too, so you won't find this one anywhere else. 
This is a super brightly colored dinosaur. This is a classic Dilophosaurus. It's got bright neon coloring all over its body. It's got a button on its side for lighting up and sound effects, although it doesn't work anymore. And you can use the tail to move the head up and down too. <laughs> Here is a super brightly colored Velociraptor figure. It's got the green with the red stripes all over its body. This one also has a button for sound effects and lighting up, although it doesn't work anymore. And not only that, but it also has a tail that you can press down on to open and close its mouth. Here's a pretty unique looking dinosaur. This is an Amargosaurus. It stands on all four legs and it has two action buttons. One moves its head up and down and the other swings its tail. Check out those two huge spines running down its back and its neck. Next up, we've got an Edmontosaurus figure. This one's a bit more recent, but it can be pretty hard to find. The brightest coloring is on the top of its head. It's got some blue and some yellow, and you can hear the sound effects, and there's a tail that moves its head around too. Check it out, we've got another Indominus Rex figure. This one's quite a bit smaller than the ones that we saw earlier, although it's got some really cool battle damage that you can slide open and close. Plus, on this figure, you can move the tail up and down, and it has a chomping action. Here's another super brightly colored dinosaur. This is a hybrid Stegosaurus and Triceratops. Check out all that super cool gold coloring all over its body, and it's even got some battle damage right on the side. And this figure has one action. When you press down on the tail, it pushes its head forward. Here is a winged dinosaur. I'm not sure what type it is. It's definitely not a pteranodon or anything like that. It's got a bright blue underbelly. It's got the red on the top. It's got an action button right on its back. And you can flap the wings by moving the back feet. Up next is a miniature Mosasaurus figure. This small figure has some battle damage that you can open and close right on the side. And although it doesn't work anymore, you used to be able to lift the tail up to open and close the mouth. Here is the Concavenator figure. This dinosaur has some bright coloring along its back right next to the spike and some purple all over its face. Plus it has two action buttons, one to activate the jaw and the other to activate the tail. Right here is a special edition Ankylosaurus figure. This figure is pretty special because you can actually remove part of the shell on top of its body as well as on its tail. And underneath you can see that there's still a super hard shell for this dinosaur. And with this figure, when you move this leg back and forth, it swings its tail and it moves its head back and forth. Aww. Right here we've got a classic looking Ceratosaurus figure with a button for battle damage on the side. This figure is a bit smaller than many of my other Ceratosaurus figures, but you can still use the tail to open and close them out. <laughs> Up next, we've got a reflective Parasaurolophus figure. Check out that super shiny pink coloring along its back and some on its leg as well. And this figure has an action where you can move the tail to move the head around. Plus, it has sound effects too. I've got another Velociraptor figure here. This one isn't as bright as the last one we saw, but it's still got the battle damage button right on the side that used to light up and have sound effects. Plus on this figure, you can move the tail up and down to move the arms. I've got one more Dilophosaurus figure in this super rare collection. This one is identical to the one we saw earlier, except that it does not have the super bright neon coloring. It's got the huge frills in the front. There's the battle damage button on the side, and you can use the tail to dip the head up and down too. This next dinosaur I believe is called Apachycephalosaurus. It's yellow with black striping along the top. It's got a tiny bit of battle damage on the side and it's got an action that when you press down on the tail, it does a headbutting action for its super hard shell on its head. Next up, we've got a super small Spinosaurus figure with super bright coloring. It's blue on the side, it's like a reflective gold on the underbelly and bright red along the spine. It's also got the battle damage on the side and you can use this figure's tail to move its head around. Next up is a small Allosaurus figure. Once again, really brightly colored. It's got tan, yellow, and red on its body. It's got a little bit of battle damage on its side, just like the other figures, and the tail that controls the mouth and the head. 
And finally, we've got three Tyrannosaurus Rex figures. This middle one is for sure the rarest one. It is a super bright orange color. It's got some gold coloring along the top. And this T-Rex is actually a hybrid with a Dilophosaurus. You can tell because of those huge frills on the front right there. And these other two are a little bit more normal looking. They've both got the battle damage right on the side. This first one is a light green color, and this one is a light brown color. And they both have the tail that controls the mouth when you move it around. <laughs> This is another basic figure from Jurassic World. This is a Velociraptor with the orange body and the brown top. And just like the Dilophosaurus, the limbs are slightly adjustable, but it's pretty basic. Way down here, we've got an extreme chopping T-Rex. This is part of the Legacy Collection, I believe. And it has the orange body with the light underbelly. It's got the button on the top of its head for chomping. The first that we're gonna unbox is one that I actually just bought on eBay. This is a Spinosaurus, JP39. This looks a lot different from the new Jurassic World Spinosauruses, for sure. You can see it's got a green and gray body. It's still got the big old spine, but the head shape is different and it's quite a bit smaller, but it does have some actions too. You can see you can pull down on the arm or the chomping. You can see some wear and tear throughout the body, but I got it for a pretty good price, so. This T-Rex is an original 1993 Jurassic Park Tyrannosaurus Rex made by Kenner. It's got an all soft body. It's a soft rubber. It's got a green underbelly and a red side with spots. Its legs though are made of hard plastic and then it transitions up to the soft rubber right up here. And with this figure, when you squeeze the stomach, it has a roaring function. It used to have sound effects and it doesn't work too well anymore, but it's a pretty old figure. So what can you expect? Next up, we've got the JP53 Chaos Effect Velociraptorix from Jurassic Park. This is a pretty interesting looking dinosaur. They definitely aren't making any figures that look quite like this anymore. See, it's got these spikes all over its body. It's got these wing-like things and a super long tail with those spikes at the end as well. And you can see that it actually is spring-loaded so that when you move the legs, its neck can move up and down and its arms go up and down too. Next up, we've got a smaller figure. This is the Chasmosaurus, mm -hmm. JP21. This figure is in decent condition. You can see it's got the tan side, brown underbelly, and the gray top. Plus, it has an action with its leg that when you pull it, it goes into a roaring position. And the sound effects still work, actually. Next up is the Jurassic Park Lost World Tyrannosaurus Rex from 1997. This is the JP28 figure. This once again has the rubber body. It has some pretty cool coloring with yellow, black, and green, blue color, and a light underbelly. And you can see that it actually has the throat tunnel all the way down to its stomach, just like the super colossal figures I have now, but a bit smaller. This figure back here, I believe is another Lost World Tyrannosaurus from 1997. You can see it's colored way differently. I believe this one was custom colored at some point, but it's got the hard front arms that you can swivel, plastic legs, and then the rest of the body is rubber. And this also has the throat tunnel down to its stomach too. Now, obviously this isn't a dinosaur, but this is still from Jurassic Park. This is the Lost World Humvee Capture Vehicle. See that it's got these things that come down on the side as well as these that go up top. I believe these are for humans to sit inside so that they can see way higher when they're riding way high up on the car. Next up is the 1997 Jurassic Park Lost World Thrasher Tyrannosaurus Rex. This T-Rex has hard plastic legs. The entire leg is made of hard plastic on both sides, as are the arms, but the rest of the body is that soft rubber again. And with this figure, when you move the tail around, it actually swings its head back and forth. Way over here on the edge, we've got a super colossal T-Rex. Now, I actually don't know how old this figure is, but it looks quite a bit different 
than all the other super colossal T-Rexes that I have. Might have been custom painted, but let's check it out. You can see the battle damage on the side. Plus, it comes with some sound effects when you open the mouth. That's pretty awesome. And just like all the rest of my super colossal figures, it is pretty adjustable. You can move the tail, the legs, the arm, and you can open up its mouth really big. Up next, we've got a Jurassic Park puppet. This thing is pretty old, and I believe it is a Velociraptor. It made it entirely out of rubber, so the whole thing is pretty soft. This is the Jurassic Park Lost World Stegosaurus. AP24. You can see that I don't have the battle damage cover anymore. I'm not sure where that went. But this figure has a harder plastic body and the tail is a softer rubber that swings back and forth. Here is the classic Triceratops from Jurassic Park. This is JP08. See it's got the battle damage on the side and just like many of the other figures it's got a soft rubbery body and a function when you squeeze the stomach the head goes up and down. Next up is the JP-06 Battle Damage Tyrannosaurus figure. This figure, once again, has a soft rubbery body throughout most, except for the feet are hard plastic and the arms. Most of its body is a light tan color with that darker striping on top, and it's got a lighter underbelly. And let's check out that battle damage on the side too. You can see the bones and a little bit of underneath the bones too. Next up is the Jurassic Park 3 sound activated stalking raptor. Now the motor doesn't work in this figure, but originally you turn it on and it would be able to walk forwards slowly and stealthily. This figure is hard plastic all over. It's got the light underbelly, the dark brown sides, and the purple color right along the top. This is the Lost World Pteranodon JP-22. This figure is really old and it's a little worn down as you can see. It's got the blue and gold body. Its wings are actually a fabric and there's a button on the top of its body used for flapping its wings. Here's another flying dinosaur. This is JP-48. This, I believe, is an Anki Loranodon. It's got some bright green on the underside and purple on the top. Check out those claws. And there's actually a button on its back that you press and it curls its tail inward. And all in all, this is probably over a foot long from wingtip to wingtip. Next up, we've got JP-63. This is the Jurassic Park Baryonyx. I've actually got another one, another very similar Baryonyx right here. And both of them have an action with the leg. When you move the leg, it moves its head back and forth. Next up is the JP-23 Pachycephalosaurus with a ramming head. Now it's slightly broken because when I press the button, the head will fly off, but that's a pretty cool spring-loaded head ramming action. Here we've got the JP-19 Lost World Parasaurolophus. This dinosaur has some pretty cool coloring with the striping down its back and the red right around its head and neck. And this dinosaur also has an action button. You press on its back and it runs. This is the JP-18 Jurassic Park Velociraptor. This dinosaur has some pretty unique patterns over its body. It's got the striping, but it's also got these dots and on its arms and neck as well. And it's really quiet because it's an old figure, but it actually does have sound effects. This figure is the Jurassic Park 1994 Utah Raptor. Most of its body is that soft rubber, aside from its legs, which are hard plastic, and its arms. And on this dinosaur, the legs are spring-loaded so that when you press beneath its tail, it'll dip down for a chomp. This is JP-58. This is an Amargo Spinus. This has some pretty cool coloring with the black, tan, and red all over its body. And it has an action with its leg that when you pull it, these spines stand up on its back, on its neck, and it opens its jaw too. This figure is the JP-44 Lost World Triceratops. This is a smaller figure. 
It's got that dark green coloring. And this figure also has an action. When you move the leg, it lifts his head up for a roar. Next up, we've got the JP-02 Dilophosaurus. This is a pretty small figure and you can only move the legs on this one, but this is a classic Jurassic Park figurine. Next up is JP-47. This is an Allosaurus and it actually has battle damage that you can take on and off. Look at those huge pieces that you can take off to see what's underneath. You can take it off the leg as well, see the bone underneath and you can even remove parts of its tail too. That is super cool. Here we've got JP42. I believe this is a baby T-Rex. It's actually got a broken leg on its right side. It's got that dark coloring on the top and the light brown and tan on the bottom too. I've got some identical JP06 Velociraptor figures. They've got the brown sides, the dark top, and the light underbelly. This is JP12. I believe it is called a Lysinops, and it looks kind of like a saber-toothed tiger. Next up, the JP10 Velociraptor. This has a bright red top and a yellow side and a white underbelly. And when you move its legs, it actually opens up its arms. Plus, I've even got some classic figurines. I've got two of the Lost World Ian Malcolm glider action figures. I've got the 1997 Ian Malcolm figure. Come on! And I've got the Alan Grant figurine as well. <laughs> I think I've got a few more human figurines in here. This first one is the Robert Muldoon figurine. Oh boy! This second one, I believe, is Harpoon Harrison. Awesome! And I believe this one is the Jurassic Park Lost World, Nick Van Owen. Gotcha! And last but not least, we've got a few teeny tiny figures in here. Can you guess what type of dinosaurs these are? Let me know in the comments below. Let's check this one out first. This is the Grab and Growl Endoraptor. This is actually the first of this toy that I have in my collection. Let's check out the features. First of all, it is very movable and poseable. You can see that you can move its shoulders, its elbows, its legs all over. But the coolest part of this figure is the functions on the tail. You can see that it has a button on its tail right there that it actually used for slashing. And it comes with sound effects too. Plus, it also has a second button on the bottom of its tail used for the jaw. And finally, this Indoraptor has the tail that controls the front torso like many T-Rex figures. So you can actually move it around and make it look super lifelike as well as slash and chomp too. Hiding way in the back here, we've got a super colossal T-Rex. This is the orange and tan one. It's got the light underbelly. Let's check out those yellow eyes. It has a huge jaw that you can open up really wide. And of course, it has the stomach compartment so you can feed it miniature dinosaurs too. Next up, we've got another big T-Rex. This is the Thrash and Throw T-Rex. It has a button on its foot for stomping sound effects. And the coolest part of this dinosaur is you use the tail to control the torso. You can get chomping, just like that. And you can also get a roaring pose too. Right over here, we've got a dark blue Suchomimus with yellow detailing right along the top. And it's got that huge spine all the way from the tail up to the top of the head. That is really cool. This dinosaur has a lot of teeth in its mouth and a very narrow jaw. And it has one action button on its back to control the chomping. Right over here, we've got a classic T-Rex figure. This one is also a light orange and brown. And while the tail does not control the torso or the head, there is a button on the top of its head to control the jaw. Next up, we've got another Endoraptor figure. 
This is the classic Endoraptor figure. You can see it's still very flexible and adjustable with its limbs and its arms. This figure does not have the buttons on its tail to control the arms and the jaw, but it is still a super poseable figure and pretty well detailed. This giant figure is a Mosasaurus. I'm sure you recognize this even from the first Jurassic World movie. This figure is probably two feet long from head to tail, and it's got some pretty good texture on its body as well. You can see it's got the large bumps on the top of its back, and it's got the smaller bumps right along the side. This is the extreme battle damage Tyrannosaurus Rex. This T-Rex has battle damage all over its body. It's got some on its chin, on its neck, on its leg, even on its chest and tail too. It of course has that iconic orange and brown coloring all over its body. And just like the T-Rex that we saw earlier, it has a button on the top of its head to activate the jaw. This is the bright yellow and red Ceratosaurus. Check out that huge iconic horn on the top of its head. It's also got movable limbs and a tail. And there's an action button on its back to activate the jaw. <laughs> Here I've got the yellow and gray Allosaurus. It has some pretty cool detailing right along the top, all the way from its tail to the top of its head. It also has some red right above its eyes, which is pretty cool. And it's got an action button on its back to activate the jaw. Next up, we've got a huge Carnotaurus figure. This figure has tiny arms in the front it has adjustable legs and a tail. It has the classic clay red body on the side and a dark purple gray color right along the top. And of course, there's an action button on its back for snapping the jaw. This is a supersized Pteranodon figure. This dinosaur figure is probably one foot from wingtip to wingtip. It's got the dark blue body with the maroon and tan wings. There is a button on its back for flapping the wings. And you can open and close the jaw too. Here is the bright red Metriacanthosaurus. Most of its body is that bright red color. It's got some dark gray detailing right along the top of its back and some yellow detailing on the top of its head and its nose too. The limbs are pretty adjustable on this figure. And of course, the button on the back to activate the jaw. This is the Baryonyx figure. It's got the light brown body with the dark gray blue detailing all along its back to its tail and to its neck. And it's got the reflective bright blue coloring on the top of its head too. I've actually got another Metriacanthosaurus in here. This one is like a mustard or like a dark green yellow color. Most of this dino figure's body is a dark green yellowish color. It's got the dark green detailing along the top of its body all the way to the top of the head. And it's got the action button on its back for the jaw. I've got another Baryonyx figure, but with slightly different coloring. It's still got the light brown body with the dark gray blue detailing on the top, but this figure has the bright orange coloring right on the top of its head and its nose too. I've got quite a few Velociraptor figures in here as well. Let's see what we got. First, we've got the classic Velociraptor blue figure with the iconic blue stripe all the way down the side of the body. I also have the green Velociraptor that is in the crawling or sneaking pose. You can also open and close this jaw too. I've got this super bright Velociraptor with the bright yellow and the brown on the top. And this Velociraptor is actually one of the leaping Velociraptors. So the legs are spring-loaded and you can send it flying into the air. And this Velociraptor has a bit more subtle coloring. It's got a gray body with the dark gray blue detailing along the top and some cool orange eyes too. I've also got a few winged Dimorphodon figures. This first one is gray in color with some dark maroon or purplish color along the bottom of its wings. I've also got this green Dimorphodon with the bright orange and yellow along the bottom of its wings. And on both of these figures, you can open and close the jaws. Next up, I've got a few Dilophosaurus figures, all with different coloring. This first one is a soft green color with the yellow and red frills. 
This one is a gray brown color with some blue detailing along the back and its frills are white and a green blue color too. And this Dilophosaurus, the brightest of the three, is a purple and red Dilophosaurus, and it's got some yellow, orange, and red along the frills in the front, too. This is a Herrerasaurus. It is a light gray color with some brighter detailing. You can actually adjust the neck on this figure as well as the jaw, and of course, all the other limbs as well. Here is another Herrerasaurus figure, but this one has a soft green coloring with the brown detailing on top. All the same body parts can move, and this one actually has some battle damage on the side that you can open and close. I've still got tons of Velociraptor figures in here. This first one is another Velociraptor blue, but this one has the battle damage on the side. Here is another spring-loaded Velociraptor. The legs are spring-loaded so that they can leap up into the air, and it's got a bright blue-green color all over its body. And I've also got the leaping Velociraptor blue as well. It's got the iconic coloring along the side of its body, and of course, the spring-loaded legs for leaping into the air. Got just a few more figures in here. This one is the Protoceratops. It's got the dark brown body with darker detailing along the top, and a red ridge right along its nose. And like many of these miniature figures, the limbs are fairly adjustable as well. And I've got two more Velociraptor figures in here. This first one is a dark red with purple detailing along the side, kind of the same design as Velociraptor blue. And I've got another leaping Velociraptor. This one is a dark tan color with the brown detailing along the top. And of course, the spring-loaded legs. <laughs> and last but not least, I've got another giant Pteranodon figure with foldable wings and the same blue body with the red and tan wings. Let's get started with this giant T-Rex from Jurassic Park. This is JP29. This figure is rubbery all over aside from its legs and its arms, and you can use the tail to swing its head back and forth. Over here is the Slash and Roar Giganotosaurus. This figure is pretty big. It's about the size of many of my T-Rex figures, and it has two actions. The first button activates the torso for swinging back and forth and the second button activates its jaw. Over here on the Jurassic Park side, we've got a Utah Raptor. This is JP22. This figure also has the all rubbery body aside from its arms and its legs, and it has a chomping action when you press down on its tail. And check it out, it's got pink eyes. I don't think I have another dinosaur with those color eyes. Next, from Jurassic World Dominion, we've got the giant new T-Rex figure. This figure is huge and comes with a few features. First, you can move the tail back and forth, which swings its torso back and forth, and there's also a button on its jaw to activate opening and closing the jaw, too. Over here from Jurassic Park, we've got another huge T-Rex figure. This figure has a rubbery body, just like all the other Jurassic Park T-Rexes, and this one actually has marbled eyes. Plus, this figure has a stomach compartment, so you can actually feed this dinosaur small dinosaurs, and then you can release them from the stomach down here. Next up from Jurassic World Dominion, we've got an Amplosaurus figure. This figure has the clay red body with the brown detailing. It's got spikes all over its body, and the tail controls the head. And there's a button to activate the jaw, too. From Jurassic Park, this is JP35. And I actually can't remember the name of this species, so comment down below if you recognize which dinosaur figure this is. But it's got these interesting wing-like things coming off of its arms. It's also got some huge spikes coming out of its head and its back. And of course, it's got a super long tail with those spikes at the very end as well. From Jurassic World Dominion, this is a Mega Raptor figure. This figure is red in the back and a dark gray-blue color in the front. 
and it comes with an action that when you press down on its back, it chomps. Check out those super long claws on its hand too. Check this out, we've got a younger looking Tyrannosaurus Rex from Jurassic Park. This is the JP06 figure. It's got some battle damage on the side, it's got a full rubber body, and it looks pretty full grown, but because it's a bit smaller, that's what makes me think it's a juvenile T-Rex. This is the Pyroraptor figure from Jurassic World Dominion. It's got the classic red coloring on its body with the black on its tail and its legs and some further detailing on its face too. This is a basic figure so you can only move the arms, the legs, and the tail just a bit. This is the Hammond Collection Ceratosaurus figure. This dinosaur has some pretty bright coloring all over its body, and of course it's got the iconic red coloring around its face and on its back. And since this figure is from the Hammond Collection, it is super poseable, and you can move all the joints in all sorts of directions. Here is the Jurassic Park Stegosaurus figure. This is JP24. It's got some battle damage right on its shoulder up there, and some smooth green coloring throughout the rest of its body. And this figure actually has an action button. When you move this part up here, it swings its tail back and forth. From the Dominion series, we have the ginormous Therizinosaurus figure. This figure is mostly black, and it has some pretty cool detailing with all the feathers, and of course it's got the iconic red stripe up its back, and those huge claws on its hand too. Check out how big those are. And this figure has an action where you can move the tail to control the torso and open and shut the jaw too. Check it out, I actually found a much smaller Therizinosaurus in this collection as well. It has much of the same coloring with the dark blue everywhere and the red on its back, but this figure is way smaller. Next from Jurassic Park is JP19, a Parasaurolophus figure. This is light tan with some darker striping along its back, and it's got the bright red along the back of its head too. Plus, it's got an action button on its back to move its legs for running. Here from Dominion, I've got two Ragosaurus figures. They look identical aside from their coloring. This first one is a dark blue color. It's got some lighter white on its chin and its neck as well. While this one is a light brown color with some dark blue detailing along its back and neck. And both have the same action button that when you press down on their back, they have a chomping action. Here is a ginormous Triceratops figure from the Jurassic Park collection. This is JP08. This one also has some battle damage right there on its shoulder and it's got the rubbery body, just like many of the other Jurassic Park figures. And when you press down on this figure's stomach, it actually lifts its head up as well. Next up, we've got a few Baryonyx figures from Jurassic Park. This one is JP63. They look identical aside from the coloring again. This one is a dark brown color with some brighter detailing, and this one is a bright yellow color with darker detailing along the top. And both these figures have the same action that when you press down on their leg, they twist their neck back and forth. Here is the Dominion Sound Surge Carnotaurus figure. Let's check out those sound effects. That's pretty cool. It's got some pretty plain coloring along its body, but you can still move the legs, the arms, and the tail as well. I've also got the Sound Surge Giganotosaurus from Jurassic World Dominion. This figure is about the same size as the Carnotaurus we just saw and many of the same features. You can move its arms, its legs, and its tail, and it comes with some cool sound effects too. This next one, I believe, is called an Amargo Spinus. This is JP58. This is a really old figure. It's got some pretty cool detailing and coloring though. Plus, when you move the dinosaur's leg, you can see that the spines actually stick up on its back on its neck, and it opens its jaw too. Here is a good old Triceratops from Jurassic Park. This is JP44. It's a smaller figure with the green body and the darker detailing on top. And when you move the leg on this figure, it lifts its head up too. Looks like I've got a few Atrociraptor figures in here. Check it out, they're all about the same size. This first one is a light tan color and is actually in the crawling or sneaking pose. 
whereas these other two are just in the normal standing pose. This one I think is my favorite coloring because it's a lot brighter and pretty cool looking. Next from Jurassic Park, we've got another Velociraptor figure. This one is striped all over its body and it's got the light underbelly. And you can move the arms and the legs just a little bit. And the neck used to chomp downwards, but I think it's a little broken now. Check it out, I've got another Atrociraptor figure, but this one is a lot larger than the ones I just showed you. This one has the classic white and brown striping coloring and those awesome red eyes as well. But this is a basic figure, so you can only move the arms, the legs, and the tail just a little bit, and you can't open the jaw at all. Right over here, it looks like I've got a baby dinosaur. This is JP58, and this originally came in an egg that you can open up. And look, it's got those marbled eyes as well. That's a pretty cool feature. Here is another Velociraptor figure, but this one has a broken leg feature. Look at that, you can actually move its leg a little bit like that. Plus, you can move the rest of its body as well. The legs, the arms, and you can open and close the jaw too. This Jurassic Park figure, I believe, is called the Chasmosaurus. This is JP21. This looks kind of like a Triceratops, but it has some different features on the front of its body. And this figure has an action that when you move its leg, it lifts its head up. And it has sound effects too. Here is a small Carnotaurus figure from Jurassic World Dominion. It's got the dark green body with the orange detailing on top. This Dilophosaurus figure is from Jurassic Park, and it looks quite a bit different from the new Jurassic World Dilophosaurus figures, don't you think? This is the Extreme Battle Damage Coelurus from Jurassic World Dominion. It's got the green body with the clay red detailing along its legs and its tail, and of course it's got the battle damage on its side that you can turn on and off. Right over here, we've got a Spinosaurus figure from Jurassic Park. This figure is pretty bright with that bright green coloring right next to the dark gray color. And it has an action button that when you move its arm, it opens and closes its jaw. Over here, this is our last Dominion figure. This is the extreme battle damage Velociraptor. Check out that battle damage on its side. And last of all, we've got a Jurassic Park Velociraptor. This is a very classic figure. It's got the brown sides with the black detailing on top and the jaw that you can open and close by pressing on its head. First up of the brand new dinosaurs is the Zungaripteris. This is a flying dinosaur, so let's open it up and check it out. So this flying dinosaur is pretty brightly colored. It's got yellow wings and a yellow body and then it's got the brown on the very top and on the neck and on the head. You can see there's a bit more bright coloring right on its horn and right along its eyes and nose as well. Let's see if you can open up the mouth. Yep. You can adjust the wings and you can move the neck around as well. And the DNA barcode is right there. Next up is the Moros Intrepidus. Let's check it out. This dinosaur is from the Jurassic World Ferocious Pack, and it's pretty adjustable. You can see it's got a soft green color throughout most of its body. It's got some white and then the orange tail at the back. Let's see if we can open up the mouth. Oh, it's really difficult, but you can. And its joints are pretty articulated as well. You can move the arms, the neck, you can move the legs and the tail too. Here we've got the Rowdy Roars Atrociraptor. Let's check it out. All right, here is the Atrociraptor. Just put batteries in it, so let's see what it can do. You can see that there's a button up top here and a power switch. Let's turn on the power and let's press the button and see what happens. Oh, that's interesting. So the so the body does move. It does like this little wiggling thing. If I put it down on the table, I bet it would walk. That's pretty interesting. I do love the coloring on this as well. It is a bright orange color over most of its body. It's got the brown on top and a little bit of yellow detailing on the legs. It's pretty cool. And last of the brand new dinosaurs is Velociraptor Charlie from the Camp Cretaceous set. 
All right, another Velociraptor to add to my huge Velociraptor collection. And it's got an action button right here on the top for some slashing. Let's check that out. Looks like it doesn't work too well. Yeah, the slashing action seems like it kind of gets stuck a bit. But still, this is a pretty cool Velociraptor. It's pretty articulate with all its joints. I think this will look great with all my other Velociraptors. All right, let's dig into this giant bin of old Jurassic Park and Jurassic World figures. This is the 1993 Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's got a soft body all over. Its legs are made of hard plastic, as well as its arms are hard plastic that swivel. And this T-Rex has a chomping action. When you squeeze the soft stomach, its mouth opens and closes. It's a little old, so it's not working quite as well as it used to. This is pretty cool. This is a huge T-Rex. Here we've got another vintage Jurassic Park Tyrannosaurus Rex. This T-Rex also has a soft body, except for its legs is a hard plastic, as well as its arms again, that you can swivel back and forth. And with this T-Rex, instead of squeezing the stomach, you can move the tail and it moves its head around. That's pretty cool. This is a super old dinosaur figure. This is the Stomp and Strike T-Rex. This is one of the older Jurassic World figures. And how it works is, set it up like that, so it's in the roar position, and then you activate the tail and it comes swinging down for a chomp. That is pretty cool. Here we've got a super special and pretty hard to find Jurassic World Hybrid Indominus Rex. Let's check out the features of this dinosaur. First, with the arm, if you pull that, then it has a chomping action. Second, there's a hidden button right here that when you press, it shoots out its spikes. I'm super glad I have this Indominus Rex and I love the gold on the underbelly too. That is something you don't see very often. Here is another vintage Jurassic Park dinosaur. This is the Utah Raptor. See, it's got the JP-22 right there on its legs. It's got some huge claws on its feet that are adjustable, and you can move the legs and the arms. And with this Utah Raptor, you can actually pull the legs back to lock into place, and then there's a hidden button underneath its tail that you press to swing them forward. So it's like a chomping action when it's standing up. Here is a vintage Jurassic Park Allosaurus. This dinosaur has a hard plastic body all around, and you can see that some body parts actually come off to reveal battle damage underneath. Look how detailed that is too. You can see like intestines in there. You can see some bone on the part that you take out. And there's even other parts that you can take out too. You can take out part of its leg, see its bone and its muscle right there. And you can even take out part of its tail too. Let's check out that bone underneath. And it just clicks right back into place. Here is another hybrid dinosaur. This is from the old Jurassic World toy line. This is a hybrid Tyrannosaurus Rex. You can see those spines right on the top there. You can actually hide them and the ones right next to its head. And then when you press this button right here, they'll all slide out. That's pretty cool. Plus, that button doubles as a chomping button. This has some pretty unique coloring on it, too. This one back here is a Jurassic Park vintage toy. I believe this is a baby T-Rex, if I remember correctly. You can see it has some battle damage right there on the side. And like many of the other vintage figures that I have, its body is soft, aside from its hands and its feet. It's got a mostly brown body with a darker brown spots and stripes as well. Back here, we've got a special edition Ankylosaurus. This one's pretty special because it actually has this additional shell that you can remove to reveal the normal shell. And look, it's even got some battle damage right there on the side. So this is pretty cool and you just click it right back on. And this Ankylosaurus has an action as well. When you move this leg back and forth, you can see that it sticks its head out and it swings its tail too. Here's another Jurassic World T-Rex. You won't see the JW tattoo on its leg because this one was colored differently. So this one is a red color with black spots and stripes all over. 
and it's got the chomping action button on its back too. This is pretty cool. Right over here, we've got another vintage Jurassic World figure made by Kenner. This is the Chasmosaurus. It's got that huge shield in the front. It's got the three horns on its head. Plus, with this figure, when you move the leg, it moves its head up and down for a roaring action. This is a Ceratosaurus with battle damage. It's got the red on the top with the black stripes and the rest of its body is a light tan color. And it's pretty articulate with the arms and the legs. Plus, with the tail, when you move that up and down, it opens and closes its mouth. Here we've got an even smaller T-Rex. This is also from the old Jurassic World toy line. It's got the battle damage on the side. Arms and legs can move. And with the tail, you can control the head. You can go up and down, back and forth, and you can open and close the mouth all in one. Right over here is a big winged dinosaur. I believe this is a Pteranodon. You can fold in the wings, make it easier for storage. And it's got two buttons on its back. One flaps the wings, and one opens and closes the mouth. Here we've got a bunch of classic Jurassic World Velociraptors. I have a ton of these. See that these two are tan with the green striping on top. This one is a dark green with the black striping on top. And with each of them, you can move the arms and the legs. Can't open the mouth or close them or anything like that. But these are actually some of my biggest Velociraptors, which is pretty cool. This is the Ankyloranodon, and it's a pretty weird looking dinosaur. It's got a light color over most of its body and the bright red striping right on the top all the way to the tail. See, it's got some spikes or feathers or something like that on the top of its head, on its back, and on its arms, like wings as well, as well as right on the tip of its tail. And with this figure, you can move its leg up and down for a roaring or chomping action. Here we've got a basic Jurassic World Spinosaurus. You can't open and close the mouth or adjust the neck on this one. And it is smaller than a lot of the other Spinosaurus figures that I have, but it's still got the same iconic coloring as my other Spinosauruses with the red on the top, the white in the middle and the green on the bottom, as well as the red right around its eyes. Next up, from Jurassic World, we've got a Dilophosaurus that is super brightly colored with orange and green and yellow. This is a super colorful dinosaur. Plus, with this figure, it comes with an action. When you move the tail up and down, it swings its head up and down. Over here, from Jurassic World again, is a Ceratosaurus with pretty unique coloring. It's got brown over its whole body and then a light orange detailing on its back all the way to its horn. And the action button on its back activates its roar and its jaw. Next up, from the Jurassic World toy line, JP63, we've got a classic Baryonyx. This dinosaur is super thin looking. And with its right foot, you can move it back and forth to twist its neck back and forth too. Here is another hybrid dinosaur from Jurassic World. This looks to be like a Triceratops and Stegosaurus hybrid. Plus it's got the battle damage right there on the side. This dinosaur is super bright with a light blue on most of its body and dark blue detailing on its feet and in the front too. And this dinosaur has an action. When you move the tail, it swings its head forward for a stabbing action. This one is a similar hybrid as the one we just saw, but with different coloring. You can see it's a dark green with some tan detailing on its body with the same battle damage. I believe this is also a Stegosaurus and Triceratops hybrid with the same stabbing action too. This classic Jurassic Park figure, I believe is called an Amargo Spinus. It's got some bright red accenting on the top of its body. It's got some horns right there on its neck and the rest of its body is black and tan. Let's check out the actions on this dinosaur. You can see when you move this leg, it activates those spines to go up. It also moves those spines on its neck and it opens and closes its mouth for a roar too. So it's doing three things at once. I see a few more Jurassic World Velociraptors. 
see we've got the dark green with black striping. We've got a brown with gray striping. We've got a special one over here that is a bright green with red striping. And this one actually has a few actions on it. It's got a battle damage button right on its side and the tail activates the mouth too. I think there's one more back here. Yep, here is another Velociraptor. Also with the battle damage on its side and the tail chomping action. This figure is another vintage Jurassic Park figure made by Kenner. This is Apache Cephalosaurus. You can see it's still got the restraint around its waist, but when you take that off, you can see that there's actually some battle damage revealed underneath, which is pretty cool. And as you're probably guessing, since it's Apache Cephalosaurus, the action button that you press right here is for the headbutting. But this figure is so old that it'll actually fly off. As you can see, it's kind of broken. But that's still a pretty cool action for Apache Cephalosaurus. Over here, we've got some small Jurassic World Indominus Rex figures. This one's the smallest, so let's check this one out first. You can see that there's some battle damage on the side. And just like those smaller T-Rexes we saw earlier, you can use the tail to control the face to open and close the mouth, to move the neck around and all that. This slightly larger Indominus Rex has battle damage as well, but you can open and close this one actually. And then you can just pop it right open. Plus you can use the tail for the chomping action too. Here's a big dinosaur. This is from the Jurassic World Legacy Collection. This is the Extreme Chompin' Spinosaurus. It's got the green body with the red and white stripe. And of course, you can move the neck around and activate the chomping with the button on the top of its head. Here's an even smaller Spinosaurus, but this one looks a lot different. This is an older Spinosaurus figure from Jurassic World. See that's blue along most of its body. It's got some gold coloring on its belly and then the bright red spine. And like the small Indominus Rex and small T-Rexes that we saw earlier, you can use the tail to move the neck and open and close the jaw. We've got another big T-Rex. This is from Jurassic World. It's tan in color all over its body and it's got the button on the top of its back that activates the jaw. Here is another vintage Jurassic Park Baryonyx. This is another super slim dinosaur again. You can see it's got the orange striping on the top. And like the other Baryonyx from Jurassic Park, when you move this leg, it twists its head around. Here we've got a super weird looking dinosaur from Jurassic Parks. This is a Lycanops. Kind of looks like a saber toothed tiger in a way. It's got those huge fangs in its mouth. And the mouth is spring-loaded, so you can open and close it. This is from Jurassic World, and I believe this is the Proceratosaurus. You can see most of its body is a light tan color with some gray detailing on its back all the way up to its face, and it's got the bright red right on top of its face, too. Here is another Apache Cephalosaurus, but this one is from the old Jurassic World line. And you can see with the tail, that you can move its head up and down and back and forth. This is another Jurassic Park vintage toy, and it is, I believe, a Dilophosaurus. This figure is pretty small and pretty slim, but you can see those iconic frills right at the top of its head. Here are a few more Jurassic World figures. This, I believe, is another Pteranodon with wings that you can fold up or extend. It's got the action button on its back for flapping its wings. And with this figure, you have to manually open and close its mouth. There is no button for it. This figure is a Jurassic World Mosasaurus. You can see it's got the battle damage on the side that you can open and close. Plus, with this figure, you can use the front fins to activate the jaw. We've got some more Jurassic Park vintage figures in here. This first, I believe, is a Velociraptor with red on the top and orange on the sides. This other figure I have in my hand is a baby T-Rex. You can see with this baby T-Rex that you can actually move the leg around. You can see that it's broken in a way. It did originally come with a bandage that you used to cover that. But all in all, this is a pretty cool figure. 
here is another hybrid Triceratops Stegosaurus from Jurassic World. It's got the battle damage on the side, and just like we saw with the other figures, you can use the tail for a stabbing action. Here are two other similar Jurassic World figures. Both of them have the tail chomping action. You can see this one is a T-Rex with battle damage, and this one is a Spinosaurus with battle damage. Let's check out those chomping actions. And last of all is the classic Velociraptor from Jurassic Park. Let's check it out. It's got the chomping action in the front, and you can adjust the arms and the legs too. Want to see more dino videos? Click the subscribe button now.